Namaste, beautiful gods and goddesses. This is Dr. Shreya Tayen, and this is also my second time recording this. I do not know what happened to my first recording, but it stopped recording after 5.2 seconds, literally. And I was forced to start all over again. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this. First and foremost, I do want to say our master group is growing by the day. If you have not signed up for my master class on your blueprint to becoming gods and goddesses, then I suggest that you hurry up and sign up. We are learning to remove obstacles from our life as they arise. We are learning rituals for different aspects of our lives for us protection rituals money rituals we are learning affirmations and decrees that are life-changing that are changing some of my students life i'm already getting feedback on that you guys this is a chance of a lifetime for fifty dollars a one-time donation you are getting access to a plethora of information that is kept in ash realms most of the information that I am given to you, I have learned from Hindu temples. I have learned from top gurus that I've paid thousands and thousands of dollars for to now share and open up this information to the public for those that are ready and willing to learn for you, who I call the adepts that are ready to step into your power, to step out of lack. And to step into your true abundance. This is for those that are ready. Okay. Now without further ado. Let me go ahead and get into this. I'm going to be discussing to you today. Uh, a topic that you may not even be familiar with. And as you guys already know, I'm your spiritual plug. I keep you tapped in, tuned in, and turned all the way up in your God or Goddess frequency. I got a download this morning. I didn't even get any sleep. I only have one hour and a half of sleep for the whole night. Because I was awakened while I was going to sleep by my twin flames higher self. And I started just getting all of these downloads. And I am compelled to share this information that my twin flames higher self shared with me i want you to really understand and understand the significance of the spring equinox and by the way happy spring equinox everyone and also for those of you that are twin flames or twin souls happy soul merge for both twins all right so i'm going to break down some things for you so you can have a clear comprehension on how to harness this energy how to use it to gain union all right so with all of that being said as we are embarking this new season called spring I want you to understand what significance it has in your journey. I'm here today to talk about what is a twin soul merge? Is it the same as a twin flame? And how does spring equinox play a role whole in part to all of this? So let's start with the basics. Okay. Before you graduate high school, you have to go to what is called preschool or kindergarten. That's the basics. So I'm going to give you a breakdown of the basics of a twin soul merge and a twin flame merge and what the two are. First, starting with the twin soul merge. It is when two souls come together and become one. It is a spiritual connection between two people that is believed to be eternal and unbreakable. They are often referred to as higher level soulmates or twin flames. Now, not to mistake a twin soul with a twin flame, because although they are similar, they are not the same. 
A twin flame merge is slightly different. It is when two souls have already merged, but have not achieved balance or harmony. This can happen when one soul is more advanced than the other. Now, I do want to demystify and break down the myths that these so-called twin flame gurus and coaches and the like have about one being more awakened than the other. There's no such thing. You're the same soul. One may be more spiritually advanced than the other soul. But as far as the awakening, as you awaken, your twin awakens. You're just on different levels. But one is not more awakened than the other because it's no such thing. And I learned this from my twin flames higher self last night, this morning. Okay. Now, the two souls must work together to bring balance and harmony to their relationship. A twin soul is someone who has joined your journey in this lifetime and has been chosen by you to help you grow and learn spiritually. A twin soul doesn't always have to involve romance, you guys. A twin flame, on the other hand, is usually always romance oriented and people often get the two confused. Thanks to my twin flame's higher self, he debunked the energy and the mythology and the thought around twin souls and twin flames and what roles they play. Twin flames will always come into 3D union with their twin flames. Not necessarily with your twin soul, though. Whichever one you are, the spring equinox plays a very vital and important role in each union, no matter which end of the spectrum that you stand on. With that being said, the spring equinox is the time of the year when day and night are at equal length. It is believed that during this time, the energies of the universe and our planet align in such a way that can help us to bring balance and harmony into our lives and unions. It is believed that during this time, it can help us to achieve our twin soul merge or our twin flame merge more easily and with the least resistance. So in summary, a twin soul merge is when two souls become one. And a twin flame merge is when two souls that have merged already need to achieve balance and harmony to also become one and in union in the 3D. So the reason why you see more twin flames coming into union in the spring is because the spring equinox is believed to be the time when the energies of the universe are more aligned in such a way that can help activate our twin soul or our twin flame merge more appropriately and easily. And again, without least resistance. So I hope I helped to debunk some of the myths about twin flames and twin souls. And no, do not believe these so-called gurus and coaches when they say your, you know, your twin flame was just a catalyst just to awaken you. No, your twin flame is your flame, honey, the eternal fire, uh, fire of life. The eternal flame of life. I got tongue twisted because I heard both of those at the same time. So I'm going to make sure I include them both. They are supposed to get you. They're supposed to understand you, overstand you, respect you, uphold you, love you. They are supposed to love you romantically. They're supposed to love you platonically. They're supposed to be a brother and a sister and a lover and a fighter. They're supposed to challenge you. That is your true bona fide twin flame and what they are supposed to do. Now, as far as a twin soul, they're not here to challenge you. Remember, they're here to help you. 
They're here to help you to spiritually evolve. They're just like a spiritual doppelganger for you. And it's not necessarily always romantic. And it can also be the same sex. Nine times out of 10, I will tell you that your twin flame is never the same sex. People can argue with me. You you can argue with me all day long. I believe with the spirit realm. I believe my twin flame's higher self. It is a masculine and a feminine energy embodied. And yes, I am going to say it in physical form. Now, I will say twin souls they could be of the same sex, but never a twin flame, baby. Never a bona fide 144,000 twin flame can be of the same sex. Twin souls, yes. Twin flames, no. Don't argue with me. It's not my rules. It's God's. Research. And when I say research, don't look outside of yourself. Look within. Find the truth within. We have all of the answers that we need for this journey within. Okay. All of the information that I'm channeling to you, I'm internalizing into you, I'm transmitting into you is from my twin flames, higher self. It's not me being biased. It's not me being whatever they call homo homophobic. I'm not. My stylist is gay. Okay. My best friend is gay. She's a lesbian. She's bisexual. She goes both ways. So it's none of that. I'm here to relay a message. I'm just a messenger. I want people to know the truth and not be thoroughly deceived with the twin flame matrix that so many of us get caught up in. This is another reason why I work with the Ascended Masters, Sananda, which is Jesus Christ, and Metatron and Archangel Michael to help people with this ascension. It's not easy. Do you know that the soul, the twin soul merge and the twin flame merge is happening right now as we speak, whether you knew of it or not, had I not came to this platform or not, it still would have been taking place. I don't want you to not know what you're involved in. If you are a twin flame or a twin soul, you need to know that you have access to harnessing this energy for union. Okay, I'm very passionate about what it is that I do. And when I first started my YouTube, people did not get me. They didn't understand or understand my passion. So they were like, oh, she's yelling. Never have I ever yelled. But yes, I get excited. We all do. I'm just human. Stop looking for your messengers to be this zen and buddha like image it, it, it no we're human just like you although we may have superpowers i admit that it doesn't take away our humanness though i just got into an argument yesterday with my twin flame and i didn't even realize that the reason why we probably we're going at it is because our souls were re-emerging. And that was our 3D reaction. Cause and effect. Newton's law. We can't we can't escape this. We cannot get this wrong, you guys. Again, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. And I hope that this information was helpful to you and your journey. If you're going to any twin flame websites and they're telling you how they uncoupled and how they coupled and how they had a conscious breakup and they held space for each other for the breakup and stuff like that. That's not the shit you need to be listening to. I'm sorry. I ask that right now you Go edit solo dolo and connect with your higher selves. If you're not connected with your higher self or your twin flames, higher self, you are really shooting arrows in the dark on this journey and you're doing yourself a disfavor favor. Join our masterclass. We will teach you how to do all of these things.
and for free. And yes, there is a love donation of an entry fee of only one time $50. That's nothing compared to the information that you're going to gain if you apply it to your life. I love you all unconditionally and I hope that you do something different to change your trajectory of your twin flame and the views that you've held for said person because I can almost bet my life existence that some of you have had some stinking thinking about your twin and that is the number one thing that's blocking you from union. Remember, your twin is you. That's you, period, point blank. Whether you like it or not. The good, the bad, the ugly, the indifference. Whatever you don't like about your twin, you don't like about you because your twin is you. That is your other half. That is your other soul. The other half of your soul, excuse me. Please, you guys. I am pleading with you for your own sake so you won't make the mistakes that I made and delay your union any further. Turn within, open up your heart chakra, allow yourself to be vulnerable with your twin no matter what. I'm not saying become a cesspool for negativity and narcissistic behavior. That's not what I'm advocating here. I'm advocating you to be the spiritual being, the spiritual evolved being, I stand corrected by Sananda, that you are and tap into your freaking power. And things will be a whole lot easier for you. You know what, you guys? I haven't did a reading in quite some time for a reason because I have been directed... <laughs> I have been directed by source. Sorry, you guys, that was a client to help the collective to raise their vibrations and their perspectives first. What good is it if I give you all the tea in the world about what your divine masculine is doing from what your divine masculine isn't doing to what he needs to do? She needs to do in order to evolve in order to do. No, that's that. That, that does your that does nothing for you. Okay, this is about ascension. That's the name of the game. Ascension, ascension, ascension. Evolving, evolving, evolving. Transforming, transcending, transmutation, transmutation, transmutation. I'm sorry, I'm getting another call on my other phone for my client because I had an appointment with her and I'm running over because I'm doing this for you guys, but it's okay. That threw me off. Transmutation, you guys. You are the alchemist. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that. I love you guys so much. Please sign up. Please join. If it is for you, if you feel that it resonates with you, so be it. I understand, understand, and understand that this is not for everybody. That's why it's called a master class because not many of us are masters. Okay. And it's no offense. It's just the truth. So if you don't sign up, I'm not offended. If you sign up, I love it. All right. Thank you so much. Namaste.